We'll call our meeting to order. We appreciate all of you that are here this morning. Uh, if you will, please stand with us for our invitation. Then we'll ask for Mr. Kaiser to all of in our place. Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for the many blessings that's been ours to enjoy as undeserving creatures as we are. We recognize that you're all powerful and sovereign in all your works and ways and that all things work together for good for them that love God, for them are the called according to his purpose. We trust, Lord, today that you would condescend to our presence, bless in what we do, bless our many and varied communities, our state and our nation. Lead God and direct us. Again, accept our thanks for all the blessings of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please pray for flag. Attention. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Be seated, please. Again, we welcome all of you to our meeting today. We will expedite our agenda as quickly as possible. First item of business is to approve our minutes. Gentlemen, I think you received them uh, of late. Are there any changes that need to be made? If not, I'll solicit the motion that uh, we approve them. You receive Motion approved. Your second? Second. Motion second. Any discussion? Swing is favorite. Let me know I'm saying aye. Aye. Anyone post that your objection? Thanks for the motion. Uh, next item of business, Council on the Agent uh, Training. Uh, Ms. Emily. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. I'm your new director, Council on Agent and Transportation, and I brought, didn't bring enough papers. <laughs> didn't realize how many people will be here. But I need permission to go to the annual training conference that's going to be in Gulf Shores. And if an emergency occurs, I need to, permission for Belinda Cromwell, our transportation person, to go to my place. The only other thing I wasn't sure, do I need permission to go to our standard meetings at, at Tarkog and Huntsville or the Masters Games meetings or in Huntsville, Trustful and Valley? We will approve all that at one time. Gotcha. We won't have to uh, make trip or do that at every meeting. Any questions about her training schedule you know? If not, we'll hear a motion. We honor her request. So moved. Your second. Great. Motion second in discussion. Tremendous favor. Let me know I'm saying aye. Aye. Anyone opposed to take your objection? Motion check. Okay, Thank and you. also there's a list of some of the upcoming events. There's an extra one, and on the back of our council meeting, you can see them right now. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you for being here this Thank morning. Thank you, sir. Road department, maintenance update, Mr. Brawls. Good morning. 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 Hopefully we'll get to haul this week, most of the week. I think they're giving rain again for the weekend, so we'll have to see what it looks like after that. Still have crews patching uh, every day. Some of the crews are doing bush cutting. And that's pretty much about all we have going on. Not really anything much new going on right now. But, uh, if you have any questions or anything, I'll answer those for you. Thank you, Mr. Broad. Any questions concerning uh, the that's What's the uh, projected the right weather permitting the start date on the improvement on the road at the bridge at Lebanon? Uh, projected just as soon as it gets dry. <laughs> okay. That's really a... Bridge is complete, correct? Yeah, bridge is done. Uh, last time I was there, it was uh, so wet you couldn't walk around down there, so uh, I don't... We don't need to go make a mess. We're actually going to have to uh, take out some uh, mud that was pushed in against that while the contractor was doing some work. So, uh, you know, just as soon as it gets dry enough, we're going to be ready to start on it. But uh, to answer that question, I, I can't. So. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cairnall. Thank you, Mr. Cairnall. Any other questions? I'll give you some uh, little good news this morning. Our trucks are selling today. Our 12 dump trucks have already sold this morning. Uh, they brought a little over $240,000 more than what we paid for these trucks when we bought them back last September. So we still have three Kevin chassis and four road tractors. And uh, I expect to make some profit off of them. You never know how much, but uh, you know, we, have, we have a guarantee it's good enough to assure that we can't lose anything. So you know, we're looking at uh, at least a good quarter of a million dollars profit off of these trucks so hopefully uh, we'll add 
quite a bit to that. I think our road tractors, there are only ones like them in the auction, and I feel like they're going to sell real good so we could uh, uh, we could still make quite a bit of, of money uh, above this, but that's a pretty good start on 12 trucks. So Let me just add to that. About 15 years ago, we went into this program first on the map, now it's Kenmore. But uh, I, during all those years, we've always made a profit except for about one. So, and, uh, yeah. It's been a, really a good program for us and uh, what, a, what an actual blessing it's been uh, for the department to have no downtime as far as equipment is concerned. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's just a blessing from the Lord. That's all you can you can say. I mean, it's, uh, it's the greatest thing that we've ever got involved in at the road department. It's the one thing that actually has turned a profit and that's uh, that's unheard of for a uh, county road department to turn a profit on anything. So uh, I did not get with Matt on my agenda, but I do have a couple other things. Uh, we had a uh, job posting uh, that I would like to fill out today if I could. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Pro. It's been a real struggle. We've had this job posted for a month, and I finally got three applications on it. <coughs> uh, that's about all I'm going to say about that, but I'm going to recommend we hire uh, Steve Brewster to fill this position. What you other one, Mr. Brewer? We also carried over the, uh, we talked about the generator at the last meeting. I'm and, sorry, uh, I thought you had another personnel. Uh, that's all the personnel that I have. Uh, you hear Mr. Brawl's recommendation to Mr. Brewster, is that correct? Yeah. Mr. Brewster, any questions concerning that? <clears throat> if not, then do I hear a motion? The honor is a question. So moved. Your second? Thanks. Motion second. In discussion? Many favor, they've been on saying aye. Aye. You want to post that? <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Brooks. All right. We also have discussed a generator for the road department, and you asked that I would uh, contact uh, Mr. Clifton about possible grants. He said there are no grants available right now. He is, uh, he's actually in his fourth year in grant application to uh, replace the generator that he's using down here, and it has still not been approved after four years. So. Uh, even if there was grant money out there, we, we might be looking at several years down the road before uh, we could get anything done about it. So uh, I'd like to go ahead and, and uh, get one, uh, purchase this one off the NJPA bid through Thompson Tractor Company. It's a 100 kW generator with a 600 amp transfer switch. It's $41,281.20 because we'll also have to hire a licensed uh, electrician to, to hook it up. Uh, now I don't know exactly what the cost on that will be, but uh, it'll be minimal as uh, compared to the cost what on the generator. What was your quote there? $41,281.20. This is off the NJPA bid. It's, uh, Saves us a problem having to go through a bid process. We bought uh, graders and backhoes off of this. Uh, so. Thank you, Mr. Broad. Any questions concerning that? This is one we discussed uh, last meeting, Craig, and would operate most everything you've got there. It'll operate the shop, uh, the break room, and the uh, liquid asphalt storage tank. It'll get the, uh, the needed things, it'll get those powered up, it'll get us power to the fuel pumps. but. Uh, will not power the office or the pulse <coughs> warehouse or the building across the road. It would actually take three separate generators to power the whole compound. But, uh, I'm hoping if uh, Anthony ever gets his plan approved that we can take his generator and move it to the office and power the office and the parts warehouse maybe with it. Of course, these things are necessary for emergency uses and, and so it's one of those things that we have to do. Any um, other questions? Give, give me that bid again, please. I'm sorry. Forty-one thousand two hundred eighty-one twenty. And is that a new unit? Yeah. Thank you. How long would it take you to get that set up? Uh, pretty quick. Uh, I'd say probably four weeks, six weeks, maybe. Uh, I don't think it'll take that long to get the generator here, uh, but uh, getting an electrical contractor to come in and make the connections might take a little while depending on the work schedule. But I would think in four to six weeks at least we could have that taken care of. Being that we're rapidly approaching severe weather season, I uh, move that we go ahead and authorize the purchase of the, the generator. Thank you, Mr. Kraken. Uh, 
Do we have a second? Second. second. No. Motion second. Any discussion? I mean, it's fair to let them say aye. Aye. Any one of those states is good. Thank you, Motion. That's all I have to Thank you, Mr. Brock. Thank you. Chair's Office Personnel, Mr. Evans. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we'd like to ask that you hire Thomas Sanders as a part time deputy. And also make an official transfer. We talked to Matt earlier uh, last week about transferring Robert Parrish from deputy sheriff to corrections officer. Is that all the personnel? That's all. Yes. Okay. Sir. Gentlemen, you get a recommendation. Any question? Make a motion to approve. Have a motion, Mr. Jackson. Do we have a second? Second. Motion second. Any discussion? The minute is favorable. Let me know saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, state your objection. Thank you. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Revenue Commission, first member, Mr. Will. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I got two or three different things with this. Do y'all want me to do it all as one or break it up? As... Let's do it all as one. Okay. Uh, got a first thing we have Sonny Williams uh, is, is leaving my office and she'll walk across the desk and uh, go over there where uh, Jackie's at in the probate office out in Rainsville. Um, so I'd like to uh, post uh, a replacement for her position as tag clerk. Uh, and in, the, in our moving and all that, we had, um, when, when I first came into office, I think I've transferred everybody around uh, now, and I don't have anybody that was in Rainsville when I took office is still there. They've all kind of been promoted to different positions, and uh, so we've got a lot of new faces out there. Uh, something that we did need out there was a supervisor, so I took my motor vehicle supervisor that we had at the time, Donna Smith, and I moved her out to Rainsville uh, to serve as the Rainsville supervisor. It did leave me without a motor, ve motor vehicle supervisor here in Fort Payne. Um, Lene Finch has kind of took on that role, uh, and so I would like to upgrade her to the title of motor vehicle supervisor. I think we bump her up one grade, um, and so I'd like to ask to do that. And then I would like to post uh, the position that she was serving in as title clerk uh, to where I could fill that role uh, with someone else in my office, most likely uh, to post the position of title clerk in my office. Thank you, Mr. Wilkes. Gentlemen, I think you have all that information. If you have any questions concerning his recommendation, if not, then do I hear a motion? We honor his request. Uh -huh. Here's a second. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? Many in favor, let me know saying aye. Aye. Anyone opposed, state your objection. Thank you, Mr. Thank Wilkes. Thank you. Obey personnel. Mr. I think Mr. Osborne is here. Mr. Sharp, you want to handle that? Oh, we'll let the judge Back in hand that party, I would like to announce that uh, Jackie Harwood. Okay. <laughs> I would like to, uh, Jackie Harwood is retiring uh, at the Rainsville office, and uh, <clears throat> uh, let, let to let it be known that many years of service. How many years of service she have, man? She's uh, she's over twenty five. Over twenty five. So she's going to retire, and uh, like for the commission to uh, recognize her at some point for her many years of service. And uh, she's done a great job out there. And of course, as Tyler was telling you there, uh, Sonia Williams moving over, if that's okay with y'all. And uh, that way, everybody be happy out there. All right, well, if you can do that, you will be marvelous. Keith Lee's having to post a job. So. Uh, Tyler's going to get the grief on that. You have the information, uh, gentlemen, in, in your packet. Uh, is there any questions? Appreciate you taking it for slack. <laughs> Judge, come back to the microphone. Until <laughs> we get through. <laughs> so I ain't going to get fired, am I? <laughs> Not by us. Uh, no, yeah. you, you hear uh, Judge Osmond's request. Is there any questions concerning that? If not, then do you hear a motion to honor the request? So moved. Here, second. Right. Motion, second. Any discussion? As many as fair play, no one's saying aye. Uh, Right. Motion carried. Now you can leave. Can I leave? <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Uh, today is a uh, time that uh, the uh, countywide tax renewal uh, is being brought before us. We have Mr. Woody Sanderson, Mr. Alec, uh, Alan Zicker with us today uh, concerning these property tax uh, renewal resolutions. For, the Board of Education. So I'm going to ask Mr. Sanderson if he would to come to the microphone and give us a brief overview of uh, uh, what we need to know. 
Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you, sir. Mr. Uh, I'm, I'm Woody Sanderson. I'm uh, working with Cab County Schools. Alan Ziegler is, uh, is uh, representing Fort Payne City Schools, and we've been working together on these uh, renewals. Um, we may have, we have a few more than the, the, the city does the way it, it works out. We're actually, we're together on uh, on two of them. As you mentioned, we have countywide taxes uh, that have to be uh, that are up for renewal. Those are a uh, there's a one mill and a three mill countywide tax that uh, are are due to be considered for renewal. Um, and we those are presented to you through petitions that uh, each of the school systems have worked together to collect. You have to have 200 signatures. The uh, um, one mill tax by constitution requires signatures of persons who are registered voters. Uh, and taxpayers uh, in Cab County. Uh, that has been collected and certified to you, uh, and I know uh, Mr. Sharp has, uh, I think, should have those. Uh, they were brought to, by both boards, collected. I think both of them had more than 200 signatures collected, so they far exceeded the requirement there, uh, and those signatures have been certified. Um, the three mill tax requires 200 signatures of uh, registered voters. It doesn't carry the uh, taxpayer requirement, and, and it's a constitutional a difference in the constitution of that. And those, but those have also been collected by both school boards and are presented uh, for your consideration. To to uh, that that gets the uh, matter on your agenda uh, to approve um, uh, essentially a ministerial approval to uh, call for the election. And uh, we've presented. Uh, uh, Alan and I worked together to present resolutions uh, under which you would approve the calling of the election for both the one mill and three mill countywide taxes to be held in conjunction with the June 5th primary that, that's coming up. Uh, we, we needed to get it done in this time frame because there's, you know, the, the time that it takes to get on the ballot is fast approaching. Uh, I think we have to get it really in the next 10 days or so uh, to make sure that it gets printed on the ballots and it's right, it ready in time for going out for absentee ballots and all that. So there's a we worked backwards from a timeline and this was an important time to get it uh, before you for that. Now in addition to that, DeKalb County uh, schools have uh, two other taxes uh, to, be, to present to you. One is the uh, a three mil district tax. Uh, that applies only in the portion of DeKalb County outside the city of Fort Payne. And they have a seven and a half mil tax that applies only in the DeKalb County portion outside the city of Fort Payne. Those are presented to you by petitions or resolutions uh, requesting, uh, resolutions from the Board of Education requesting that you put those on the ballot. And we have presented, I believe, those uh, resolutions to you as well. Uh, so again, it's just a difference in the statutory procedure on how you present those or under the Constitution. Uh, but we believe we have all of that in front of you. Uh, and so with respect to DeKalb County, there are, uh, and, and Fort Payne's involved in the two county wides as well, there's those two resolutions. And then there's the two resolutions for uh, DeKalb County for a three mil and a seven and a half mil district tax. Uh, now, Fort Payne also has a three mill district tax, so that's the fifth resolution that's in front of you today uh, that would approve uh, Fort Payne renewing that tax. Now, all of these taxes are, uh, one of them I think expires at the uh, tax year 2019, the others are 2020. So, in terms of getting on the ballot, making sure they get approved before, uh, you know, the, the debt, before they run out, this was our ideal time to try to do that. Um, they, they are, the proposal is to renew them, um, I think all of them except the seven and a half mil would be renewed for um, 27 years and the seven and a half would be for 28. The reason for that is the seven and a half mil expires a year early. So the idea is we're gonna to try to get them all on the same schedule. And, and by law they can't be renewed for more than 30 years uh, beyond the date of the election. So that's why it's 27 or 28 because we, we, we can't go out beyond that depending on when the election, because of when the election is. So all of those things I think are, are before you. Uh, the resolutions that you should have 
uh, are numbered in order sequentially, one, two, three, four, and five, I think with a number at the top of them, so that each of those uh, can be considered separately, or you can, I guess, put them all together and vote on them. But essentially, that, that would, uh, if, with your support today and voting on these, it simply puts these taxes on the ballot. Now, the key factor that everybody, I think, understands here is these are renewals. There's no new taxes in this. There, these are the uh, local taxes that go to local effort to support your schools, um, and there's, there's no request for new money. These are taxes that everybody is already paying if they live in DeKalb County or Fort Payne. Um, and, uh, of course, they're critical to the success of your schools. The, uh, all of the, in fact, all of the taxes for DeKalb County schools are on the agenda uh, for, for renewal. Uh, if these are not, if were any of the, these were not renewed, they have no lo, no other local effort. Uh, so it's it's obviously very critical to DeKalb County to get these uh, uh, approved, as it is to Fort Payne. Uh, now we have, um, I know the superintendents are here, and, and Mr. Lee was here. If you have any other questions or anything else we could add, thank you, Mr. Sanders. Uh, any any questions, Mr. Sanders, concerning the resolutions? Thank you, sir, Mr. Ziegler. President Harco, I have nothing to add. Uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Sanderson's covered it uh, clearly. I think we've got everything. Uh, your offices uh, and, and uh, Mr. Shaw have been very cooperative in getting everything ready, and Mr. Henning had reviewed these as well. So we're, we look forward to working with y'all on this election. We appreciate that very much. We have both superintendents here today. Uh, Mr. Barney, would you come to the microphone, please? Yes, sir. Make any comments if you'd like to. Well, I appreciate the uh, opportunity for you guys to consider these uh, these tax resolutions. Uh, it has been a, uh, a a process. I appreciate Mr. Sanders and Mr. Ziegler and Mr. Cunningham. We've all worked on this very uh, well together because we understand the importance of this for our, our school district. We are required by law to have a 10 mil match. Of course, without these resolutions, without this passing, we would not have that. So this is very important for our school district. Uh, this money helps fund uh, many things that we all believe we need and we all know we need school resource officers which is, of course is a joint effort between the county commission as well as our local school and many other things so I appreciate the consideration there's been a lot of time working on these resolutions and getting all the required documents together and I appreciate Mr. Mooney and the, uh, all of you guys working together and I'm, I'm thankful to have y'all's consideration for this thank, thank you. you Mr. Barnett. Mr. Cunningham thank you for being here this morning sir thank you. <laughs> I also appreciate your support and you know the necessity of this it is a renewal we're not asking for more I would make you aware that even with this renewal we're still going to be very low as far as local funding but without it as you just heard we're not, we're not going to receive our foundation funds <clears throat> so I, I appreciate your support we have had a good working team uh, Mr. Sanderson Mr. Ziegler uh, Dr. Barnett has been great to work with. I look forward to seeing this moving forward. I will be uh, 87 years old when we do this again. <laughs> I'm going to vote yes this time because it's necessary for the kids, and I'm going to vote yes in 87 and hope I even see more to help out the students in the Cap County and Fort Payne City. But again, we appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I know Mr. Mooney has uh, gone through this, and he's been very cooperative with us working with these gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Moon, you got anything you want to add? No, I, t I just appreciate their openness, and we had various emails back and forth, but very well done, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Moon. Gentlemen, any questions from any of you all concerning this? All right. One, just, uh, I think we, we, we kind of discussed, I think, uh, hit and miss in the back, and, and, and it's just a big question. Uh, what, would, what would the estimated total this be benefit towards the, towards the school systems in the Cab County per year? There's 14 and a half, uh, I'll speak to you, for 14 and a half meals of, of the Cab County. Our, our, each meal is estimated around $360,000. Uh, so when you, when, you, when you look at it all together, you're talking about, you know, $5 million or so, a little, a little over actually. But. Thank you, Mr. Uh, the meal, the one meal countywide tax with this past year was 
worth $135,000 for Walpi City Schools. The three mil was worth $400,782 for Fort Payne City. And that's the two that, that we split. And we split that on the membership pupil numbers. It's about a 25-75 split. Uh, also, in Fort Payne City, the, the millage is $154,000 per mil. So that, that, that vote of the extension of the three mil would be 154 times three, so that's, that's getting up there close to half a million dollars. It's our operating money. We need this for, to continue business. That's all of the counties. Uh, it's got to be there, there is no other uh, property taxes for education. This is the, the only one. And this would be the first time, probably in our county's history, that we have all of these renewed like this at the same time. Uh, it, is, it is very important uh, that we do it. It's, it's probably, for, for schools, it's, it's the most important vote uh, that, that, that we'll make you know, on that, uh, that ballot. And so, and so I would hardly uh, ask, us, ask the commission to approve putting it on the ballot. Gentlemen, yeah, this is probably, I've been at it a long time, and this is the first time all of these have come, come, come up at the same time. But I, I, I want to assure you this will be the most important vote that you'll make during your tenure. And uh, I would uh, uh, encourage the general public uh, to understand how important this is, uh, not only just to us today and uh, the folks and the children that are in school today, but in almost a generation to come. So it's very important that uh, we do this, I, this commission is uh, very supportive of you all as a board and as not only a county board but a city board. We appreciate what all of you do and uh, it, it's very important that we stress to the general public how important uh, uh, a yes vote is on this particular uh, issue. Uh, I'll not call for a voice vote on this. I'll call for an individual vote. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Wood, can you vote yay? Yay. Mr. Westbrook. Yay. Mr. Tigard. Yay. Mr. Jackson. Yay. For clarification, the chairman votes yay. As many as favor this continually, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Motion carries. Let the record so state that this was a unanimous vote and uh, that we heartily endorse these resolutions that have been prepared by these gentlemen. Thank you all for being here today. That concludes our agenda. I trust that you all will have a safe journey home. God bless you. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.